This is a very functional, very nice tank. You're really going to want to take this one in and enjoy it because this is the last time we're going to see one like this today. We just need to take a second to appreciate a fully functioning, actually professionally designed tank to see how good they are. They can even fire their gun and go over whatever these bumps are. We can make one so much better though. Now this is what we have to work with. We can basically make any shape, size, whatever we want. We're gonna make this thing as big as possible. Can't forget the gunner turret. Uh, we're gonna put that right at the back. And then we're just gonna go ahead and play with all the dials over here. Not sure what basket space is. Uh, that takes away from other space. You need space for things inside the tank. Uh, armor thickness is gonna be huge. It's a little bit geometric, but I love it. And then we've got to add what's called a magnet, which I think is the gun or the base of the cannon. This one seems to be about the biggest, so we're going to stick it right there. The barrel feels so small in comparison now. How do we, uh, can we make that bigger? Okay, we couldn't really make it like wider for now, but I can make it longer just by adding segments, which I'm sure will have no negative impact whatsoever. This naturally has the uh, added benefit of us not actually having to aim because we'll just put the barrel directly into whatever we're shooting from a mile away. Yeah, this is already shaping up to be one amazing vehicle. Oh, I didn't even change the caliber yet. So it's going to be a whatever this is, 50 or 250 mil cannon, <laughs> which apparently fires enormous uh, bullets. Look at the size of these. I got to find a home for them. Good thing we built the tank <laughs> way too big. Now I'm just trying my best to fit as many of those into the tank as we can. It's probably going to make it heavy and get uh, in the way of uh, the people inside, but that's fine. I hope it's not too tippy, but now we need to do things like the powertrain. And the tracks, we're going to need some wider tracks because this is a very big, heavy, weird tank. Thickness? Ooh, we're getting a lift. Uh, yeah, we'll make those good and thick. And we can literally change like everything. We can change the size of the sprocket on the rear end. I'm actually a little nervous to play with much of the track stuff. Uh, simply because I don't really know if that, like it's already going through the tank. And I don't know if that's a big deal or not. Now, where the engine is concerned, we either have light, medium, or heavy. But then we have this advanced option where we can actually change things ourselves. So we're going to take the displacement from 3.05 liters up to 4 liters per cylinder. And we're going to add an extra two cylinders. The idle is going up to 2,000 RPM. Because I have a feeling there's kind of a lot of mass here to get moving. Uh, as for the transmission, we're just going to add 18 gears. That way it's sure to be able to move. Probably makes the transmission heavier, but um, well... We're going to need gears just to make this thing work at all. It's probably a bit of a gas guzzler, so we'll give it, I don't know, 1,400 liters. Fenders? No, thank you. Why would we need fenders? Those just add weight. I don't know how I ended up with uh, things coming out the back. I'm not insanely worried. Okay. Well, whatever. Those are wheelie bars. Okay. That's an added feature. Now, for the crew to get in, they're going to have to climb on top of this tank somehow and avoid getting uh, destroyed by the gun. That really puts the size of this into perspective. Now, I think these are where uh, the people see to shoot out of. So we're going to put that dead center because uh, we basically just drive the tank into whatever we're shooting. This is where the driver, uh, he's going to sit under the gunner. The gunner's like going to ride on his back as they go down the road in the tank. I'm ready for this. Wow, it's actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be for such a ridiculously big unbalanced tank but i guess that's all of those cylinders all right i'm actually pretty proud of this so far uh we might have to tweak it a little bit just to make it functional like can it cross a trench it actually can all right it takes a little slow to get on target but once it does that target is <laughs> doomed wow did you see that it went through the tree and just kept going is there like um something we can shoot that shows the force of that like i feel like that went through like the tree by a large margin i want to shoot through a few trees uh, i think we're reloading oh it takes us uh 183 more seconds to reload probably because the shells are 80,000 pounds so i might have to add more gunners or actually just design an efficient tank which isn't really going to happen we're just going to add more gunners or something oh commander's cupola is one of these he can have one if he wants there, there you go okay there's the other tank we're going to Fire a shot. Ooh, I think we one shot at him real hard. Uh, that was a massive cannon that went straight through that tank. Okay, so we have enough power to one shot like a very functional solid tank. Okay, I found the suspension settings, so we're going to give it a little more suspension so we can have a bit of a bouncier ride. And the rest angle is, yeah, there, I guess. And since it doesn't really seem to matter what I do with the tracks, I'm actually going to put them like up and back a little bit. That way they can hopefully like climb on stuff in case we run into an obstacle. <laughs> oh yeah, this just gets better and better. It's still very quick. The gun turns actually really sharp considering how big it is. Now we should be able to climb up and over obstacles a little bit better. We should be able to climb right on up this because we have a very powerful tank. Yep, no problem at all. Plus our suspension adjustments made the tank ride that much smoother for our crew. 
We just go right through and over that trench without any concerns whatsoever. All right, let's fight a Centurion, whatever that is. Let's get the cannon on him quickly, quickly, and got him. But then it does take us, well, we're down to 100 second reload time. So, you know, that's why we made a fast tank. We take one shot and then run away. And then we we're like a sniper, but this should probably give us uh, an exhaust port. So the uh, exhaust can actually <laughs> leave. The crew is probably getting fumigated. That's why it takes so long. Now, the best part is we can test our tank in different scenarios. So on this one, I need to fight the enemies. I think there's one of me and six enemies. So we're going to have to shoot at them and <laughs> run away for a little while. We're also going to have to hold very still to conserve fuel. So we kind of have conflicting strategies. Uh, luckily, we can kill anyone from like literally anywhere on Earth. This gun, I'm pretty sure, could shoot a tank on the moon. That sounds like an exaggeration, but I think this gun might actually reach the moon. Is that a tank? Where you yeah, it is. Oh, he can hit me from there. Wow. Does he have a scope? That's not fair. I didn't put a scope on my tank. I'm going to fire. Sh I don't think we hit him, but we probably scared him pretty badly. So we're going to start ourselves moving. We need to get close enough to actually see him. Uh, now that I think about it, there is actually a... Oh, okay. <laughs> our tank might need a little work. The top fell off. Okay, I've set up our own scenario. So I've unleashed a wave of 12 of these idiots against 12 of the enemies. This time they're AI controlled, so they'll hopefully be able to actually hit something. They're clearly firing at something already. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't give you guys better guns, but... Uh, you're just going to have to deal with what it is. They tip over. They fire such a big cannon. Oh, we lost one. Go, my beautiful idiots, go. Don't stop now. It's our day. Well, maybe they're too tall. I think that's the problem. We're too tall. We're too much of an open target. We need a better scope and we need to be a little shorter. Because so far ours are dropping like flies, including the one I was driving at that moment. That's okay. This is just sort of a prototype. We'll get better. Uh, Yeah, you can see... Uh, I've clearly designed a very efficient tank, judging by our battlefield state. Okay, so let's lower it down a touch so we're a little bit less of a, you know, mega broad target. As long as we have room here, we're okay. And I think I have that turned off anyway. The crew can be a little bit short. Like, they'll still fit in that. I never considered the fact that we actually have to add armor to our tank. I thought that was just sort of, you know, built in. So we can actually just straight up thicken it if we want. Okay, well, let's face it. We need protection in the front. That's the only place we're going to get hit because we just point our big gun toward everything we don't turn and run but we'll add a little bit on the sides because we will be shooting kind of from the front this is going to be very thin and um, that's probably fine okay i can somehow actually put the gunner sight on top of that that might work better because the barrel might be less in the way i nope <laughs> that doesn't work at all still need to work on a reload time and uh, a few little uh, odds and ends but it's getting better it really is Okay, I'm learning now it actually matters where you put the ammo for the reload time. Like if I put it here, it's only going to be a 49 point something second reload time. And uh, it's got to be closer to the cannon, obviously, to load. Okay, well, now that we're a smaller, uh, more armored target with a slightly faster reload time. Well, a tank like this isn't going to be a problem. We're very armored up front and like one shot should really destroy that. This bullet goes straight through that tank and doesn't stop for anyone. Okay, here's another battle. This time we're at the left side of... Why is my gun not attached? Should I be worried about that? Uh, oh, I have zoom on this. Oh, we learn so much when we play this game. Okay, we're going to fire at that one. Don't know if we hit him or not. Something hit him. Was that ours? No, we just got to wait for 40 seconds. So while we're doing that, uh, we're just going to slowly march towards them. See, it's only 18 seconds before we get to fire. I don't know if their guns can even fire this far. We probably have the advantage there. We're pretty much an artillery tank cannon where you go oh, okay we'll just manually adjust it here uh we're just gonna wait till it's lined up and kablamo no that went low no we hit him it just looked like we didn't okay great my tank design actually beats a proper tank albeit with <laughs> we're like eight times the size of them but we're playing to the proper strategy for this we have just a really big gun so we just stay way far back and use our front armor to uh you know win so uh, our tank is named the autosave, but it's winning so far. Uh, there's only two of them left. They only destroyed two of ours, and I'm pretty sure I was driving both of those, so it's actually a very functional tank. I don't really know which ones of them are still alive. There's only one of them alive, and it might be disabled, so I can't tell which one it is. Why do I have a laser sight on my gun suddenly? Gonna make a few little adjustments, though. I need that to get a little bit lower. We'll still be able to climb over stuff. I just need that to be less in the way of uh, sight lines. Whatever's going on in the back, that's fine. I couldn't care less about that. Since I actually have this pretty adequately working, now we can really get carried away. So if we add some gun mounts uh, here, then make them really big and really long, and we'll add some lengths to this one. Are we actually allowed to do this? This is gonna be fun. 
Uh, that one is going to be slightly shorter than that one and also <laughs> occupy some of its space, but they'll learn to share. See, the key to building a good tank is just taking all the numbers and cranking them up to max. Pretty sure soon we won't even need armor because the whole space in front of my tank is just going to be occupied by massive shells firing towards the enemy. They will intercept anything incoming and destroy everything. That looks like it would be pretty intimidating to uh, <laughs> fight against. Do we need a site for like all of these? Is that what it wants? <laughs> there we go. It's very functional. Ah, there we go. No more problems at all. We can even turn our uh, lopsided guns and everything. So do we fire all three at once? <laughs> I think we fire all three at once. It's 100 seconds to reload, but we're reloading three cannons. They, <laughs> once they fire, they go all out of whack. The one barrel is floating, but that doesn't really seem to matter. Okay, let's spawn in a tank that presumably has some armor. There's a panther. Panther, nice to meet you. I uh, <laughs> probably pretty dead. So I've added uh, basically as many of these tanks as I possibly could to our little scenario here. It's quite an army. This might be a decent spot to try and uh, hit the enemy from. One of my barrels is really, really getting away now, but that's okay. We fired it once, so it's pretty much... Uh, oh, never mind. We're dead. We're still winning this battle, which is absolutely absurd considering <laughs> the tank we're driving. Soon, my friend. Soon. You will have three 300 meter cannons firing on you. Okay, and fire! Did we get him? I think we hit him. And I'm pretty sure if we hit him with uh, three of these massive cannons, we're destroying everything. The environment destroyed one of them. So imagine you're on a battlefield and you come face to face with this. Twelve cannons! And the tank actually moves still. Twelve cannons. Which seems like it would be really, really overkill and intimidating to fight against. Uh, apparently they need gunnery sights, so like, I don't know, here you go. You can, you can look all you want, you don't need to aim anymore. Once you shoot, you shoot literally everything. But just in case you want to directly, like, I don't know, aim an individual cannon, there's your gunnery sights. You happy with that? Oh, we're happy with that. See, now the beauty of this is you don't need, like, a fleet of tanks. You just need a tank to do the work of a fleet because you fire one, <laughs> one round and uh, it's like firing 12 tanks at once. It only takes 66 seconds to reload somehow. We're not as quick as we used to be, <laughs> but I feel like that doesn't um, maybe matter so much. Okay, let's fight something that's a centurion. That's a pretty big tank. It looks like it's decently armored, but it's not one of these tanks. Uh, I think we got him. I did my best to uh, adjust the suspension so it wouldn't sag so much. There's really nothing I can do. There's just too much weight up front for some reason. Also, it wants gunner sights. Uh, the tank is literally like made out of gunner sights. They're apparently not loading in here, curiously though. Okay, well naturally I assumed the problem with not having enough gunnery sights was <laughs> not having enough cannons. So I just added more of those for a second. Uh, the tank is starting to not turn so well anymore, but we do have like, I don't know, 20 cannons up front. Look at how many red dots are on his tank though. If I fire from here, he's uh, rather eliminated. Three, two, one, blast off. The red dots aren't accurate. We entirely missed him, apparently. And this is going to sound strange, but actually adding the cannons fixed the gun sight problem. Don't know how, don't know why, don't care. We have uh, 16 tanks, all with like 20 cannons on them. So that's a lot of cannons going towards the enemies. They don't look like tanks anymore. I don't really know where the enemies come from right now. Presumably somewhere ooh, in that direction. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he got him from here. <laughs> we can barely make it up and over the hills, but that doesn't matter because we can absolutely destroy them from here. Yeah, there's one of the enemies there. Uh, getting this on target. Uh, actually, might be able to do this. Did I get him? Uh, <laughs> my tank got destroyed there. Okay, we've lost a few of ours now, probably because these are very maneuverable. So I brought in a smaller tank that's hopefully not going to be as dangerous to us at first. I just want to hit him with, you know, uh, this. And that seems to have hit him. Curiously, it's not disabling the tanks as hard as it did before. We used to absolutely one-shot these. I hit him with a lot of stuff, but I think uh, we're lacking our accuracy. I probably blew his tracks off in a really bad way, but I didn't disable, like, kill the tank engine or the crew. Okay, now every one of these tanks has clearly more than 16 cannons, but it also has 16 gunners on board, so they should be able to fire 16 cannons pretty efficiently. <laughs> Just gotta wait to get sights on the enemy, which are somewhere over there, I believe. Okay, this is gonna be a brilliant test of how uh, effective this tank is. Uh, obviously, aiming leaves a little bit to be desired, but uh, all the other tanks on my team are uh, under capable hands. So if you could just kind of... Uh, yep. Did that get him? Nope. I really thought adding more cannons would really, you know, do the trick here. 
Uh, but hopefully the rest of my idiots can hit someone. They have enough cannons. There we go. We got one. We're winning. And in 22 seconds, I get another shot at this guy. Now, I can kind of control this just a little bit, at least up and down. I need to use the tracks to do the side-to-side -side motions uh, in any bit of a hurry. But he's close enough. I might be able to just get away with sort of... Got him. <laughs> so in 50 seconds, we can pick our next victim. So far, we're winning. We've taken out two of theirs. They've taken out zero of ours. They're probably very scared to get anywhere close because uh, <laughs> there's just a lot of cannons pointed towards them. Oh, oh, they took out another one. I mean, of course they did. As long as they're aiming somewhere in the vicinity of an enemy tank, that enemy tank dies. I think we're stuck in the railroad tracks. This tank's fatal flaw. I've worked my way free of the confines. Now we just need to find the rest of those stupid tanks so we can absolutely obliterate them. I think that might be them over there. Okay, there's the rest of the enemies. They're all just sitting there. Uh, not sure why. They might have got intimidated by the fact that any time they peek over the hill, they get absolutely destroyed. Okay, zooming in, zooming in. Can we get two at once? That would be so cool. Maybe we can, actually. I think, no, they're not grouped up enough. Okay, so we're uh, going to take our time and pick a non-moving target because we're stupid. Ooh, that could be good. Did I get him? I don't know if I hit him there. Now they're coming out to play, so we'll back off a little bit. We'll pull them into our friend's fire. Okay, there's one dead ahead. Ooh, this is perfect. We're just about ready to fire again. And, oh, <laughs> got him. Okay, they're getting a little bit smart and aggressive, so they're going to get close to us, which is going to be a problem for me. I got to back up, and hopefully my friends are able to turn their tanks in time to fire on them. Okay, they did finally get one of mine, but, uh, you know, that's going to happen in more. I think I might be able to get a shot at this guy pretty reasonably. Uh, zoom in, and... Okay, we definitely obliterated him. There's also a tank under the one beside me who's, like, he's got it figured out. He got right under the guns of that tank. Oh, he may turn and fire on him. Yeah, he's getting out of there in a hurry. Uh, we lost that one there, probably because he had another tank inside of him. That's not really good for tanks. This guy right here just got blown up very badly. He walked right in front of 20 of those gigantic cannons. Ooh, here's one in front of us that might be lined up for a pretty good shot in 16 seconds. This is basically a nuclear tank. We can only fire like once, but when we do the, whatever we're shooting dies. We're also getting pretty disabled at this point, so we gotta get this off. Got him. That was like a, not even a direct hit, but look at him, he's absolutely destroyed. So I think it's safe to say we've designed the most perfect tank in the universe, and um, next time we're going to try and escalate even further.